That homemade meal might be healthy, but the way you cook it may not be. If you use a gas stove, it's burning natural gas, which is another name for methane. When methane is burned, it creates byproducts called nitrogen oxides. Scientific studies have shown that children who are exposed to gas stove emissions can have as much as a 42% higher chance of developing asthma. This research was really scary for my wife and I. Michael Thomas wanted to see exactly how much air pollution his gas stove was producing in his Boulder County home. He placed air quality monitors around his house and watched the numbers spike when he cooked his meals. He says nitrogen dioxide went up to 291 parts per billion, which is nearly three times greater than the EPA standard. When I saw that, that was startling. But the EPA standard is for outdoor air pollution over an extended length of time, not just short bursts of exposure inside your home. Even though you're, you know, you try and say it's the nitrogen oxide causing the problem, it's still a different chemical mix. Pulmonologist Anthony Gerber with National Jewish Health says the overall body of scientific evidence is not conclusive, though he does agree that breathing in nitrogen oxides always carries some health risk. Is that the same risk as, you know, breathing in exhaust fumes? Probably not, right? And so I think that we have to be very careful about taking something that's dangerous in one context and moving it into another context and deciding that it has the same risk. For the Thomas family, the evidence is convincing enough, especially now that they have a new set of lungs to look after. Baby Theo, born in 2022. When you have a kid, everything sort of changes in your life and you start being so cautious of all the risk around you. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, Nine News. The Thomas says it's just too expensive to switch to an electric stove right away, so they plan to use HEPA and carbon air filters to make sure the kitchen is well ventilated while they're cooking. Well, they say they'll also use a portable electric stove top when possible, all solutions being recommended by Dr. Gerber.